Hello engineers, we welcome you to your own channel Engineering Study English with one more informative video. Many people think that what is Coriolis effect and how it is applied in mass flow meter and what is the role of Reynolds number in this? You will get the answer to this question from this video. So, video is going to be very helpful for you. Do not skip it at all. Coriolis effect is used in mass flow meters. That's why mass flow meters are also called Coriolis meters. If you look at mass flow meters, you will find that in mass flow meters, a U type shape is there. Actually, these are the flow tubes of mass flow meter, which usually remain in U shape. These tubes are usually two. With these tubes, a curved channel is formed when the fluid passes through the mass flow meter. It gets divided into these tubes. Now, the Coriolis effect will take place in it. In the Coriolis effect, when the fluid is passed through a curved path, that force is measured or fluid force is calculated. When it flows through a curved path due to this force, the tubes get twisted and the phase shift occurs. This twisting motion is measured by the sensors. Due to the twisting motion, the tubes start to vibrate. The more the flow passes, more will be the phase shift. And the vibration is also faster, and due to these, flow rate will be higher. Similarly, when there is less flow pass, the phase shift is reduced. Now you would think, what happens at zero flow rate? At zero flow rate, the phase shift remains zero. So, by this way, accurate measurement of flow rate is obtained. Now, let's understand the Reynolds number. If you like the video, do like and share. It is free for you, but it is very helpful for us. Reynolds number is also often asked in interviews. Reynolds number is a dimensionless or unitless quantity, which is the ratio of inertial force and viscous force. Inertial force is the force due to the momentum of the fluid. Viscous force is the force that opposes the relative motion between the layers. It comes to know from Reynolds number that, due to the Coriolis effect, how the motion of the fluid is affected, Reynolds number is an important parameter in the Coriolis effect. Reynolds number determines the turbulence level in the fluid. The Coriolis effect affects the motion of a fluid and is strongly dependent on the Reynolds number. Also, flow turbulence depends on Reynolds number. The greater the value of Reynolds numbers, the greater will be the flow turbulence. And at a lower Reynolds number, there will be less flow turbulence. Flow turbulence means Irregular fluctuations in flow. From Reynolds number, flow is laminar or turbulent. So, you see how important the Reynolds number is in flow measurement. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Also, press the bell icon for more updates. Thanks for watching.